So a 75 year old woman in Saudi Arabia is being held accountable and given 40 lashes for hosting two male members at her house. She's being accused of fornication and adultery. First let's look at the facts. The two male members, one of them she was a wet nurse to. The other one was her bread delivery man. So by no means can this be encountered as fornication or adultery. Let's look at the actual teaching of Islam. What did the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him prescribe in such a situation? When it came to fornication and adultery, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him prescribed 80 lashings. Now, the requirement to met out such a punishment in the first place was to have four witnesses who had seen the person commit fornication or adultery. The reason why four witnesses were required was to prevent rumors from spreading for no reason whatsoever. If someone concocted a rumor that so-and-so had committed fornication or adultery and did not produce the four witnesses, then they themselves were subject to the 80 lashings. So here you had a society where people were discouraged from one, bragging about doing such behaviors because they knew that as soon as four people found out, they would be held accountable, and two, they were discouraged from spreading false lies and rumors, which can destroy the very fabric of a society. But it's important to recognize why this type of punishment is meted out at all. It's not supposed to be an after-the-fact type of punishment. It's meant to be a deterrent in the first place. In this situation, what are we deterring? Preventing an old woman from meeting with her child that she raised herself or from her bread man? This is not the fornication or adultery this punishment is designed to prevent. So the narrow-minded people who came up with this idea to give this poor 77-year-old woman 40 lashes for hosting the child whom she's a wet nurse to and her bread man have lost their minds. They have no basis in Islam. They have no basis on the teachings of the Holy Quran or from the practice of the Holy Prophet Muhammad may the peace and blessings of God be upon him. And I know this because I'm a Muslim who believes in the Messiah.